Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And oh man, look at me. <laughs> Third video of the week. But uh, here we are with my bullet journal setup for the month of February 2023. Um, so I felt like everything needed to be divided up into three separate videos. Uh, we did a separate plan with me video, a separate draw with me video, and now we're here with the bullet journal side. So I felt like it was necessary to do that just because it was like, I did not want to make one video that was like an hour long. Just wasn't really ready for that. But um, so just in case you're new here and you haven't seen the other videos, this is my B6 Common Planner, which I am using to have uh, monthlies, weeklies, dailies, and bullet journaling and notes. And so that's actually pretty awesome that I can do that in one place. B6 size is actually pretty cool. It's been my jam in the past. It's working out really well right now. And let's just get into it. So the cover, touch briefly on that as well. Um, it is a D-ringed Filofax. So shout out to my husband for helping me out with that. Thank you, Beam. And let's get into it. So the monthly section right here is already structured in this planner. So I actually really like that about it is that there's um, a lot of room for notes and bullet journaling and things like that. But there is some structure to it. So part of that is the monthlies, which I'm actually kind of liking. I kind of keep them on a minimal uh, level anyways. I don't really add a lot of stuff, but towards the end of the month, it does look pretty full just because I try to write down little notes here and there. So as you can see, there's some dates already listed like uh, snow moon, full moon on Sunday the 5th, groundhog day, any holidays. I did get those Mandy Lynn plans, weigh in days, uh, some TV shows that I'm really excited about. Is anybody else like super, super hyped for Picard? Like the final season? One, it, I'm really, really sad that it's the final season. I absolutely freaking love Star Trek and the next generation, I've seen it so many times. I've watched all of the seasons, all of the episodes, multiple times, okay? <laughs> so anyways, to say that I have like this emotional connection <laughs> with the cast is insane. And I just saw the new trailer for season four and I'm just like, yes, I'm so excited. Anyway, so I wrote it down in my planner. I actually, ha I also have 1923 in there because I think they resume new episodes on the 8th. Love both of those shows. I typically write stuff like that in here. Like if I want to remember a series that I watch, like Thousand Pound Sisters, I think that they air new episodes on Tuesday, maybe. <laughs> so anyways, I write stuff like that in my monthly views. This is why it's really useful. I also keep appointments, which you can't see in here, dates that I need to remember, other meetings, etc. So we're just going to get into the bullet journal part. So here we are. I kind of touched base on uh, the dailies in my last video. So um, this is just for the monthly. So this is my setup. I actually drew this in Procreate, printed it out on vellum. And I actually really like the little pop of color with it being like a really super minimal and simple design. And I used a foil February sticker here. So you might be able to see it. it's gold. Pretty pretty. Add a little sparkle. <laughs> um, I will have this available in my Etsy shop. It's just a cute little uh, digital paper if you guys are interested. And the link for that is going to be listed in the information section. So feel free to check that out. Uh, this first page right here, I wanted to keep blank just in case I want to include some notes or maybe some drawings. And here's my February setup. So I did want to make sure that the vellum is working as a way to divide up individual months as well as with some tabs. But if I don't feel like keeping the tabs in here, then I have the vellum. This right here is just a little drawing that I did with some highlighters and I just went with an overall just minimal simple pops of color. I listed February and a monthly view and I just broke everything down into columns. So monthly goals, projects, homeschool notes, health, social media, notes in general, and miscellaneous. So anything I can th think of here. Some of these you may have noticed in my weekly setups if you watched my last video, but I felt like I needed to have an extended place just in case in the monthlies. So of course the other things that I need to track, I don't feel the need to track um, habits in my bullet journal just because I have a section in the front that I do that. Bills, budget, and income, these are my setups for those. It's just a place for me to keep track of all of my monthly finances, bills, etc. So you get the idea. But I do need to have that in each individual month so that way I can kind of check out the changes that go from month to month. And then the rest of these pages are just going to be note pages and daily pages. So um, 
let's just go back here just for a brief second. So I know I mentioned this in my last video, but these are what my dailies look like. And I'm just gonna continue those on over here in this month. So we'll see how that looks at the end of the month, but it just is gonna be so satisfying, to be honest. <laughs> Um, as far as the common planner goes, I like that it is not structured as far as the daily pages go, just because there's a ton of room for writing. I feel like, I don't feel like I am having to conserve any paper for notes or anything like that. I still feel like I have plenty of room to go. I actually have some social media collections as well as personal collections in here in the back. And there's still like 15 pages per month for the six months. So, um, I'm sorry if I forgot to mention that or I forgot to mention that again, but I have a six month common planner um, setup. So I have six months in this one and then six months in the next one. But that's pretty much it. Simple bullet journal setup, simple planner setup, and it's been working really well. Let's continue to use it until it doesn't work anymore, right? <laughs> All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you're interested in following me on any other social media platforms, I'll have that listed down below as well as any Amazon affiliate links or product links. That way you guys can check all that information out. My Etsy shop, all listed down below. If you have any questions or comments, list them in the comments section. Or if you have any suggestions for maybe an upcoming theme for a bullet journal, let me know. And until then, I will catch you on the next one. Later.